Now in this section, we're going to talk about areas of regular polygons. And what's nice about regular polygons is we can use our building blocks of triangles to help us figure out the area. So some vocabulary I need you to know. I need you to know that we're going to have a center of a polygon. So I'm talking about right there. And if we want to be very specific, then we would say the center of the polygon is really the center of the circumscribed circle. So if I made a circle, if I circumscribe a circle around this polygon, then the center of that circle will also be the center of that polygon. And then likewise, the radius of the polygon would simply be the radius of that circle. So notice that the radius goes from the center of the polygon to one of its vertices. Okay, so it goes to the point. So this would be a radius. Okay, this would be a radius and so on. So I would have as many radii of a polygon as there are vertices or as there are sides. So this is a six-sided polygon, a hexagon. So there are six radii. Okay. Now also notice that the, we have a central angle. When I create all these radii, I have these angles, right? So that was what we call the central angle, just like we did in the circle unit. All right, so the central angle of a regular polygon is the angle whose vertex is the center, okay, and whose sides contain two consecutive vertices of the polygon. So it's talking about here and here. All right. So notice that this makes, what I was talking about, this makes a triangle. All right, and all of these triangles, since they would all have the same central angle, would be the same triangle. So all of these triangles are congruent. And why would all these central angles be congruent? Well, that's because we have a regular polygon, and remember regular means all the sides are the same. So all these sides are the same, so that means that all these angles are the same, okay? So if I wanted to figure out what one of those central angles were, let's say I've got six angles, and I know that they all have to add up to be 360, so can't I just take 360 divided by 6, and that would give me what each of those angles were? Right? So generically, if I don't have six sides, if I have n sides, okay, I would take my 360 divided by n. That's what the central angle is going to be. Make sense? Okay. So if I wanted to find the area of this figure, let's go back to those triangles again. So we said that all of these triangles would be congruent. And how many triangles were there? Well, for this hexagon, there are six triangles. So I have six triangles. And we know how to find the area of a triangle, right? We're going to have one half base times height. So I'm going to be doing six times one half base times height. And that's how I'm going to find the area of this regular polygon. So let's actually do one that's labeled. All right, so we've got this, we've got a hexagon still. So if I know that the radius is 8, what else would I need to know? Because if I need to find the area of this triangle, I need to know the base, and I need to know the height, right? So I'll actually, the base will be in red, and the height of this triangle will be in green. Right? So all they give me with 8. Well, the other thing we just said was that the central angle was 60 degrees, right? Central angle was 60 degrees. And remember, we did 360 divided by n. And that's how we got 60 degrees. Okay, so what would that be then if I make this this triangle and I put that height right down the middle of it. Okay, so again, this is an isosceles uh, triangle. So then these two angles right here would also um, be um, equivalent to each other. So I know that if I'm just looking at this, with this right angle right here, so that's a blow up of that. 
So I know that the hypotenuse is 8. I'm trying to find the height and the base, right? Well, this is actually going to be, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. The height and the base of that, um, that little right triangle. And then so we know that each of these angles, we're going to be half of that. So this angle has to be 30 degrees. So this is 30 degrees and this is 30. That's how I know that they make that central angle of 60. So then how can I use that? Yes, you guessed it, trig. All right, so if I'm doing the H, that's the adjacent side, and I have the hypotenuse, so that's going to be cosine. So cosine of 30 degrees is equal to H over 8. Now you can also do a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So if this, because this is a special right triangle, we could do that as well. All right, so if we know that, then we know half of this side would be the B, so that would be 4, and then this would be 4 root 3. I kind of like that way better. But if we did the same thing over here, we would get um, H is 4 times the square root of 3 as well. Okay, so um, going back to my triangle, though, I want to label this. Just from here to here, is 4. So remember, this would be also 4. Okay, And that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Because if this is a 60 degree angle, then all of these would be 60. So this is actually an equilateral triangle in a hexagon. So all the sides of that triangle are going to be 8. Okay, so getting back to what we were doing, I digress. I gave you a bunch of different options. But basically, our whole goal was to find the area of the triangle and that's one-half base times height. Now I'm talking about that whole red line. So one-half of the base, which is 8, times the height, which is 4 root 3. Okay, so that's going to give me half of 8 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16 root 3. So that's just one triangle. How many triangles do we need? Well, we need six of them. So if I do six triangles, then I'm just going to be multiplying this by 6. So I'm just going to do 16 times the 6. And that gives me 96. So the area of the polygon, of the hexagon really, is 96 times the square root of 3. All right, so recap. We use the radius of 8 to help us draw this right triangle. And we could either use a Sokotoa or a special right triangle to help us get the sides of that right triangle. And then we use the, once we found the height and the base, we can find the area of the triangle and multiply by how many triangles there are. All right. I'm going to show you another one. Notice in this one, this is a pentagon. So it's only five. It has five sides. And they're giving us di uh, different pieces of information. So here they gave us that this angle right here, that central angle cut in half, is 36. So they've already done a lot of that work for us. And they gave us that this height is 4. So really, we just need to know what this base is, right? If I knew that, then I know that what that whole thing is. Okay, so let's draw out that right triangle. So this is 36, this is 4. So this is not a special right triangle. So I'm just going to go ahead and use Sokotoa for that. So this is opposite of that 36, and then this is adjacent. So I want to use tangent now. Tangent of 36 degrees is equal to x over 4, and then multiply both sides by 4. And then we're going to just type that in. So 4 times the tangent of 36 is equal to 2.9. Let me make sure I'm in... Degrees. Okay, yep. Yeah. All right, so 2.91 is what I'm getting for x. So that's just this little piece from here to here is 2.91. All right, so the other half would also be 2.91. So when we're doing the triangles, the base is twice as big. So that's going to be 5. Point eight two. All right, so my area of the triangle. 